hello everyone welcome to the channel today we are going to learn something that most developer never really touch it's called win32 api it's basically the language that malware developers use to quietly control the windows operating system behind the scene don't worry we will go through everything step by step in the simplest way possible so let's get started to the video the win32 api also called windows api is a big collection of functions and libraries it helps developer make program that can talk directly to the operating system or windows system but what does this really mean let's make it super clean with the following diagram this is basically a diagram of our windows architecture so let me break down this particular diagram uh, in simplest layer by layer steps so at the very top we have our program this is the code we write it could be in c rust python or even assembly our program does not really talk to the computer hardware directly it talks to the operating system using system provided functions for example we might call a function such as url download to a file and when we call url download to file function we are actually using a function that lives inside a windows dll file in this case it is called urlmon.dll but here is something interesting that function does not magically download the file by itself it actually calls other system dlls such as win9.dll to handle internet connections and also the kernel32.dll which uh, basically handles the writing the file to the disk so what's the win32 api really doing it's giving us easy to use tools or functions to ask windows to do complex tasks for us such as downloading files or creating new processes without needing to know the technical deep stuffs but even the api isn't directly talking to the computer hardware it sends request to the windows kernel windows kernel is the brain of entire operating system it is usually called anti os kernel.exe or windows anti kernel executable when we use win32 api function call the api sends a system call to the kernel it says to the kernel like hey i need to download this particular file hey i need to save this file to the hard disk the kernel is the one that actually make this happen it decides where the file should go into the memory which driver to talk to how to manage cpu time how to keep everything secure the kernel gives order to the next layer which is basically the device layer the device layer are basically translators they help the windows kernel talk to our actual hardware for example the network layer handles sending and receiving data over the internet the disk layer or disk driver handles writing files to our drive or ssd drivers know how to talk to specific hardware such as our wi-fi card our keyboard our storage disk or ssd hard drive or whatever you want and we have our hardware layer this is basically where the real physical action happens when we download a file our network card connects to the internet and fetches the data our hard drive stores the file physically on our machine every instruction we give gets executed by real hardware whether it is moving data saving a file or using a memory hardware does the, the final job so this is basically the path that windows follows so malware often tries to play tricks in inside these particular layers some malware tries to hide an api layer to avoid getting caught some go deeper into kernel to stay on the system permanently some malware hook drivers to completely disappear from detection tools so understanding this kind of uh, windows architecture is super important for our malware development in the next video we'll learn about a practical example for malware development basically the process injection we will walk through how it moves through this particular exact same layers so stick around because once we understand the windows architecture we can either protect it or control it see you in the next one